the Delta variant causes headaches in our communities as more people lose their spouses and children to the virus. There's a push for more to be done to help protect families in Leon County. Tonight, ABC 27's Micah Cho looks at what one commissioner hopes to do to bring about some change as we get a closer look at what frontline workers are dealing with day to day. We need to hear from our public health and healthcare professionals in town, the experts who have been guiding us for the last 18 months. Leon County Commissioner Christian Dozier wants a clearer picture from local health leaders on the impact of COVID-19 to communities in the county. To get that, she's requested that Commission Chairman Rick Miner call for a special meeting the first week of September, ahead of the Commission's already scheduled meeting on September 14th, with a goal of looking at what the county can do to stop the spread. We are seeing record high numbers of cases at the hospitals. We've lost more people, according to TMH, just at their hospital alone in August than any month since March of 2020. As of August 27th, there were 119 COVID-19 patients at Capital Regional Medical Center with 127 patients at Tallahassee Memorial Healthcare. To highlight just how dire the situation is, TMH is turning to social media with frontline workers sharing their stories and COVID diaries. Megan Dunaway is a registered nurse who shares this message, asking for grace for herself and other health care workers. It reads, I am caring for these patients for hours and days in our ER in addition to emergencies walking in. I get to know them in their darkest hour, their families. Then finally, I get a bed for them at the hospital. I hug them goodbye. I've had to stop checking up on them the next day because my heart cannot handle hearing one more time that none of them have made it. This is my reality, which means this is your reality. TMH also highlighting people they call healthcare heroes like Lauren Faison Clark, who is a health administrator for the hospital. Part of her job includes digitally connecting patients with their family members outside the hospital. She writes, for the past few weeks, I've had the honor of sharing intimate moments with families as they virtually connect to their loved ones affected by the unrelenting virus. I've listened as spouses, children, and loved ones prayed with, sung to, and cried for those they cherish so much. Stories like these highlighting the need to do more before things get much worse. We all have personal examples of kind of how COVID is impacting our lives now more than ever, but as a community, these numbers are really startling. And I think it is time to get in the room together and hear from the experts and think about how we can help mitigate the spread of Delta going into the fall. In Tallahassee, Micah Cho for ABC 27. Commissioner Miner will meet with ABC 27 on Monday to talk about more of what Commissioner Dozier requested. Now, to read Megan's full post about what she and other frontline workers are facing at TMH, you can find that right now on our website. That's WTXL.TV.